Hello, everyone. Uh, that's some introduction, and I don't know how I'm, how, how I'm going to live up to that. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to be moderating this session regarding uh, developing a functioning capital market where we share African experiences. Uh, so this is how our program goes. Uh, first, we'll have three presentations uh, that are going to be back to back to back. Uh, one of the presenters will be joining us virtually from Tanzania and the uh, remaining two will be here on the stage. And uh, right after the, the presentations, then we'll have a panel discussion where we have more panelists. Uh, so until everyone comes in, uh, just before the presentation starts, let me share something that I, I read uh, recently. Uh, there is this thing called the Elman uh, Trust Barometer, where industries are ranked based on trusts. Uh, there was the 2023 survey uh, which was conducted globally, and the top three trusted industries are, number one is technology, and number two is education, and number three is uh, food and beverage. And technology, I think, is understandable, because these days, uh, even our, even, we trust, it with, uh, we, we trust it with, even with our lives, because there are robots that, that are doing surgery, isn't it? Uh, we are flying sometimes autopilot and then there are driverless cars so it's, it's quite understandable uh, to have that level of trust uh, the most surprising part is the least trusted industries the least trusted one as you would imagine is social media uh, and the next least trusted is financial services and next to that will be fashion and then it's just smacking in between two worst offenders, obviously. So this is going on despite the fact that it's one of the highly regulated industry all over the world. So with this, uh, I will call upon my presenters and panel uh, members to the stage. Uh, first, uh, Ms. Rose Lumumba. Please put your hands together. And next will be uh, Mr. Jackson Tinga. And next is uh, Ato Mikhail Habte. Next up is uh, Ms. Hanna Terla. Next one is Mr. Sirak Solomon. So you might be wondering who the hell are these guys, okay? These are the brains behind what we are going to, what we are going to be talking uh, today. So you should be able to position yourself to pick their brains uh, if you have any, any doubt. So uh, we'll go to our first presentation. Our first, first presentation will be uh, uh, by regarding the capital market development so far. That will be by Mr. Solomon Bakala. Please put our hands together to Mr. Salamon. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Salamon Zaudi Bekala. I am a senior capital market legal advisor at the Ethiopian Capital Market Authority. Uh, before joining the Capital Market Authority, I, uh, you know, I graduated here in Addis Ababa from Addis Ababa University, uh, law school, and then I worked here for four, four years. I was a high court judge before I left to go to the U.S. 
I did uh, another law school in the U.S. and been practicing there for the last 20 years before coming back to Ethiopia and joining the Capital Market Authority. My presentation this afternoon will be uh, regarding the, uh, the progress uh, in the work that has been done to date by the Capital Market Authority. So, the Capital Market Authority was uh, established by proclamation with four objectives. The first objective was protecting investors. The second one is uh, reducing system, systemic risk. The third one is market development. And the fourth one is uh, maintaining fair and orderly market. With those are the main principles that guide uh, the, the work of the Capital Market Authority. Based on that, we, de we, uh, we developed five focal areas. The first one is uh, regulatory framework. The second one is cap uh, capacity building. The third one is creating enabling environment. The fourth one is an institutional setup. And the last one is the building the capacity of the, uh, the institute, the, the authority itself. So regarding this one, the, regarding the uh, regulatory framework, we've been drafting two regulations and uh, 10 directives. And of these 10 directives, three has gone through the process of internal vetting and also uh, public comment, hearing and comment period. So they are currently in the process of, uh, they are currently in the process of being uh, revised based on the comment that we received from the public and they will be submitted to the uh, Attorney General's office for registration. So, these are the five strategic uh, focus areas. So the three directives that has gone through this uh, public hearing and comment period are the uh, capital uh, directive on capital market ser service providers, the other one of, uh, is recognition of uh, self-regulatory organizations. And the last one is licensing of securities exchange and trade trading platform. So this has gone through the process and uh, there will be uh, the law of the land uh, very soon. Of the two regulations, the one is the already been drafted and submitted to the Min uh, Council of Ministers. This is the regulation on the employment administration and it has gone through the, the, our team has uh, you know the technical team from the council of ministers has sat down with our teams and provided comment we incorporated the relevant comments and uh, returned back to the council of ministers so it's now waiting uh, the uh, approval by the council of ministers so the the next F focal area is capacity building. In that regard, what has been done is we were able to, uh, we were instrumental in training around 600 in individuals on capital market uh, uh, course that was provided by CISI, which is Chartered Institute for Securities and, and Investment. So we have already established a, rel a relationship with this CISI and uh, they have provided uh, uh, training for around 600 people to, to date. The other thing that has been done in this regard is we have been in this room, you know, we have connected the CISI with Addis Ababa University School of Commerce, where they have uh, become uh, uh, approved uh, training partners with CISI, and they, are, they will be starting training Ethiopians on the capital market uh, 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 courses. So in that regard, the Capital Market Authority has pla is planning to provide uh, scholarship for around 50 individuals so that they will be attending these uh, courses. The other thing that we're doing currently is we have extensive educational and awareness. We have planned extensive uh, educational and awareness program where we go out 
to the countryside and uh, introduce capital market to the, uh, to the individuals who are living outside of Addis Ababa. So there, the, there is a planned trip to Adredo that is going to happen next, uh, next week. I think uh, the G director general and the, his team will be traveling to Adredo next Wednesday and they will be uh, conducting awareness program there. So the other thing that we did in relation to capacity building is we have already established a relationship with the Ministry of Education where we're trying to have uh, capital market related courses incorporated into uh, college level uh, curriculums. So we have already engaged with the Ministry of Education in that regard, and the first stage will be in the, uh, having those kind of courses in the college, and the long term, we, uh, we plan to have those in the high schools and even lower ladders of the educational system. So, and regarding uh, the other thing that we're doing regarding capacity building is, though uh, journalists are not part of, you know, within our jurisdiction, we feel that journalists and appropriate reporting of uh, uh, financial matter is critical for proper functioning of uh, the capital market. So what we have done is we have established a relationship with the Bloomberg. They are coming this coming July. They will be training uh, financial reporters uh, around 50 people, so it's going to happen uh, very soon. The other thing that the other thing that we're doing or working on is the uh, capacity building of the uh, the ca the authority itself. In this regard, we're trying to do build and strengthen the authority develop and maintain operational excellence, build and enhance human resource capacity, establish technical structure of uh, the, the, the authority. The other thing that I would like to talk is uh, creating an enabling environment. So this environment, creating an enabling environment, though these are not really within our jurisdiction, what we're doing in this regard is uh, you know, creating communication with other governmental institutes. Uh, the first one was the National Bank. This is in regards to participation of our financial institutes, the banks and the insurance company in the capital markets, uh, market arena. So the current law, that is not, you know, the current law, which is the uh, banking business proclamation, is limiting the, the ability of our banks to participate on capital market activities. So we engage the, the uh, national bank, and we have reached an understanding with the capital, uh, with the national bank, where banks and other financial institutes, including the insurance, will be able to participate in the capital market ecosystem. For example, in uh, uh, investment banking, custodial service, brokerage, underwriting, those kind of things. So one institute that we have engaged is the uh, uh, National Bank. The other one is Ministry of uh, Finance. You know, as you know, tax matters are going to affect the capital market, the functioning, having a proper cap capital market. So we're engaging with the Ministry of Finance where we're trying, we, we submitted a, a policy recommendation regarding services, activities, uh, of uh, capital market activities being given uh, 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 favorable treatment so that there will be a conducive, the tax regime will be conducive to the capital market. The other engagement that we have is with Ministry of uh, uh, Trade and Regional Integration. We are trying to have uh, alignment, substantive as well as procedural alignment so that there will, be, there will not be a duplicated effort between uh, the, these two sister uh, governmental entities. So in that regard, we are trying the, the procedurally, you know, they, they have the registration, uh, they register businesses and activities within the Ethiopia. So as you can see, we're going to have uh, around, around 15 uh, services within the Ethiopian, uh, you know, that is, that, uh, that's going to come into the picture when the Ethiopian Capital Market Authority is up and running. So those services are, going, uh, are required to be registered uh, with the uh, Ministry of uh, uh, 
Ministry of Trade and uh, Regional Integration. So we are working with them so that those, uh, those services will be registered uh, by the ministry. So those are the things that we have been doing. This is uh, apparently the wrong uh, presentation that's here. So with the capital market, these are the, uh, the, these are the opportunities that we think will be materializing. So if we see the statistics to date, there are around 350,000, uh, between 350,000 to 400 uh, individuals who currently own shares in Ethiopia. Of those, 95% hold the share, their sharing in the financial uh, sector. Only 5% shareholding is uh, outside of the financial center. And we, with the very limited uh, over-the-counter market that exists at this time, all, you know, uh, approximately two to three billion bur transaction is being conducted in Ethiopia. So what does this uh, statistics tell us? So what it tells us is that, you know, of 120 million to 130 million population, only we were able, the capital market was able to reach only 300 or 400 individuals. So introduction of the capital market, will bring the, intro, uh, the, you know, the capital market and the, its activity to more peoples and there is, this tells us there is an opportunity for everybody to participate. So having said that, you know, regarding opportunities for investors, what kind of opportunities that the capital market brings to the investors, that will be, uh, you know, there will be participation uh, in fixed income as well as equity. There will be also the secondary market where individuals who purchased or who, who are holding uh, securities in their hands at this time, if they want to sell and uh, get their money with, this, uh, with the introduction of secondary market, they will be able to do that. So the secondary, the existence of, or the coming into picture of the secondary market will assist the, the, you know, the performance of the primary market. So the other thing that this will introduce is price discovery. So with the introduction of the capital market or the exchange, price will be, everybody will be able to see the price, so price discovery will be there. And also there, there will be a provision of information where investors will, you know, will be able to make their decision, financial decisions based on uh, information that's provided accurate and the correct information that's provided by the companies. So for SMEs, this will be the opportunity that this, uh, this introduction of capital market will bring is, you know, financing in terms of either through crowdfunding or factoring. Factoring is where, you know, receivables will be uh, securitized and sold to the public and uh, the trader will be able to get the, the money that we're otherwise supposed to get in the future uh, currently. And the other thing is, you know, with, with, the, with the introduction of the capital market, you know, the big companies will access the capital market f for their financial needs and that will uh, free some space in the bank system where that available money will be also available to the SMEs to, uh, SMEs to access. So basically, this is, these are the things that we anticipate to come with the uh, introduction of uh, the capital market. Finally, what I would like to say is the capital market is coming. It's coming next year. The question is, uh, is everybody re ready for this? You know, our message would be, our message is to, uh, for everybody, for everyone to analyze what's coming, for sure changes coming. So everybody needs to analyze what's coming, where that person is uh, situated vis-a-vis -vis this change that's coming, and what the opportunities this change is going to bring, and how one has to be prepared to grab these opportunities. So with that, I'll conclude my uh, presentation. Thank you.
So uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Solomon. Uh, so we've had so many false downs in terms of where the capital market is going to be uh, set up and, and where it will be uh, running. Uh, so it's quite natural to be a bit skeptical as to whether this thing will really uh, take off. So it's really reassuring to learn that a lot has been done in a relatively short period of time and uh, uh, the whole thing is in, in a, uh, a very able hand. Uh, 